Today we're going to talk about ratios and unit rates. Ratio. What is a ratio? Well, a ratio is a comparison or two quantities by division. You can write a ratio in different ways. One example is 10 to 15 or 10 colon 15 or 10 over 15 or 10 divided by 15. You can use similar examples with variables. A to B, A dot dot B, or A divided by B. Pause the movie now and write down the examples for 10 to 15, 10 to 15, and 10 over 15, as well as the examples with the A's and B's. Let's look at this example. Students were asked in a survey whether they had after-school jobs. Write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form. So we can see here that the students with jobs were 40 and the students without jobs were 35. To write this as a ratio, we're going to read it first. We want students with jobs to students without. Sometimes before I write my ratio, I'll write the words first, with over without. So in this case, students with jobs was 40, students without jobs was 35. This is not in simplest form. Using my divisibility rules, I can see that both 40 and 35 can be divided by 5, which would be 8 over 7. Pause the movie now and try letter B. You should have written students without jobs, which is 35 over 40, which would have been reduced to 7 over 8. This is how we write ratios. Make sure you write them in the order that they're stated in the sentence. Let's move on. When we look at different quantities, we want to look at a unit rate. And a unit rate is something that has a denominator of 1. So we want the denominator to be 1. For example, if I was going to go to the store and buy detergent, I know that the mini detergent is 12 ounces for $1.20. I know the family detergent is 28 ounces for $2.24, but the economy is 40 ounces for $3.60. Which one is the better deal? Well, what we're going to do is instead of finding how much it is for 12 ounces, 28 ounces, or 40 ounces, we're going to see how much it is for one ounce. So, let's look at the first one. I know that I have $1.20. This is the, we're solving for the mini. $1.20 for 12 ounces. But I want the denominator to be for one ounce. Well, I use my giant one. To get one on the bottom, I have to divide this by 12. What I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. 1.2 divided by 12 is 0.1. So I know that the mini is 10 cents per ounce. Let's check what the family size detergent would be per ounce. So now we're on the family. So I know that it is $2.24 for 28 ounces. All right, and I want this to be how much for one ounce? Well, I will use my giant one, divide by 
28. Okay, so this is 2.24 divided by 28. I need to use some long division skills here. And I'm going to guess at first that that's going to go in maybe about 7 times. Let's try 28 times 7. And I get 196. Oh, I was so close. Let's try 28 times 8. Um, and I get um, 8 times 2 is 16. 224 exactly. So I know that the family size is eight cents per ounce. So far we know that the family detergent the family detergent is cheaper. Really quick. Let's do the last one, which is the economy size detergent. The economy size detergent states that it is three dollars Three dollars and sixty cents for forty ounces. So I take divide by forty, divide by forty, which gives me per ounce and three sixty divided by forty is going to be nine. So the economy is nine cents. Per ounce. We can now see that the cheapest or the best deal for the detergent is the family size detergent. All of these examples that we've done are finding unit rate. Unit rate means how much per one. Try these. I'd like you to find the unit rates and you will bring these examples into class tomorrow to be checked by your teacher. The first one, two liters of spring water costs $1.98. I'd like to know how much it will be for one liter. And if a car goes 425 miles on 12.5 gallons, how many miles did it go on one gallon? Bring these examples in for your teacher tomorrow.